Hi everybody, my name is Andrea Leonard. I am a 34 year thyroid cancer survivor and I wanted to share with you my story. This is my puppy. <laughs> um, I was diagnosed at the age of 18 with thyroid cancer and it was after uh, gaining weight mysteriously and having uh, irregular periods and so it was the summer after high school and I was supposed to live at the beach for the summer and all that good stuff and um, I got called home to have surgery and lo and behold I came out without a thyroid and um, for a month could not have thyroid replacement and I gained probably 20 pounds and my self-confidence and self-esteem just went <laughs> And to top it all off, uh, the guy I was dating, I'll never forget this as long as I live, we were at a nightclub and they had this game called Selectrocution and everybody had a code name and you would send, send each other messages across the screen throughout the bar and whatever my code name was, he said, lose weight, it's over. So here I am, 18 years old, just had my thyroid removed. Uh, diagnosed with cancer and my boyfriend dumps me and publicly humiliates me. So what did I do? I went on a grapefruit diet and I think if I remember correctly I might have eaten like six grapefruits a day, you know, lost a ton of weight and then showed up at his door so uh, I could have him back. Well that was a complete debacle but um, this started a lifelong what I now realize is an eating disorder. And in my 20s, um, I was a binge eater. And I don't know if it's because of the thyroidectomy, because I was already gaining weight, so I figured, you know, who cares? Um, and then I was dating a guy who introduced me to cocaine. And I lost like five pounds in a week, and I thought, oh, this is awesome. I'll just keep doing cocaine. So. A year later, uh, I am almost dead after a $200 a day habit, and um, <laughs> I was emaciated, of course, but um, I, I knew I had to quit or I was going to die, so I quit cold turkey on April 4th, 1990. And it was around that time that I found out about personal training. I was like, oh, this is awesome. If I become a personal trainer, then I can stay fit and help other people as well. So I got certified by the American Council on Exercise, the National Academy of Sports Medicine, Cooper Institute, you name it. I got the certification. And that brought about another set of issues which is as a personal trainer you feel like you have to look a certain way and for the most part i have and i did but then in 2008 so i let's see that was 10 years ago so i was 42 you know you start gaining a little more weight and a doctor asked me to try HCG, which is human choreogonic gonadotropin. Basically, if you've ever heard of it, HCG diet, and you uh, eat like 500 calories a day for 21 days, and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I did it, and I sh just dropped weight. Like, I'd never been that skinny in my life. I was a size small. I'd never seen my thighs so small. So... I got hooked on this and the thing is it works but then it doesn't and I kept convincing myself that each time I would do it better or do it different and this became a vicious cycle and I did it about two times a year so after summer vacation and after winter vacation every time I had gained weight um, for about 10 years and it was last May so May whatever it was 2017 that I realized that that was going to kill me. God only knows what I'm injecting into my body. And, and just the mental anguish and the torment and weighing myself five times a day. And if I gained two pounds, I had to do a steak day. And you don't eat anything all day. And then you eat as big a steak as you can possibly eat until you feel like you're going to throw up. And just it was insidious to the point of going insane. Um, so I did Whole30 and it was really difficult for me to eat real food because everything I ate was fake. I mean, you know, protein bars and energy drinks and everything was loaded with, with, um, 
uh, Splenda or, or artificial sweeteners because God forbid I should eat a real calorie. So this was really challenging for me and the the probably the best thing I took away from it was you weren't allowed to weigh yourself and I have not weighed myself in a year, uh, almost a year. So um, I, I don't feel good about my body and what happened is I was overtraining. So I had what I now realize is called exercise bulimia and body dysmorphia because I still think I'm not fat, but like I'm very self-conscious of my butt and you know, everybody else is like, oh my God, what are you talking about? But this exercise bulimia, I was doing two hours of cardio a day. So I mean, my feet hurt, my back hurt, my knees hurt, you name it. And I kept doing it because that was the only way I could eat. So now fast forward a year, I find out I have a bulging cervical disc in my neck. Both of my shoulders have impingement, so I have limited range of motion. They hurt all the time. I have chronic low back pain and um, disc degeneration or, or spinal degeneration, spinal arthritis, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my back always hurts. My knees hurt, which they've hurt on and off for years. And now I have Achilles tendonitis in both Achilles. So I can't walk for exercise. I can't ski and snowboard uh, very long. And that is my most favorite thing to do. I wait all year for that. Um, and so last week or two weeks ago, I decided to take up yoga and swimming. And I am i don't hate it, but I don't love it. I've lifted weights since 1984. I've always been ripped, had the six pack. You know, people would stop me and be like, oh my God, you're so fit. And And now I feel like I've lost my whole identity. And that as a personal trainer, even though I'm not, I'm not actually training clients anymore, I train trainers to work with cancer patients, um, but, but I don't feel like people are going to look at me and think, oh yeah, you're in the fitness industry. I feel like they're going to judge me. So I am struggling, but I am, um, I'm actually blogging it on, on my Facebook page, Andrea Barris, B-E-R-E-S, Leonard, L-E-O-N-A-R-D. And I also started a Facebook page called Survivor's Talk, where uh, people like myself and, um, you know, who have used exercise and diet to help them recover from cancer are posting really positive uh, uplifting messages and I'm also po uh, posting just some real ones like this sucks but I got here because I was so hard on myself that I destroyed my body um, because I didn't like the way I look and I'd be lying to you if I told you I'm accepting this because it's a struggle every day but I'm grateful that I'm generally healthy uh, that I am cancer free and that I am able to hopefully help many other women and maybe even men um, who are going through similar struggles. And I know that if you're watching this, you probably are on your own journey. And if there is anything I can do to help you, I would be more than happy to be there and lend an ear for you. Thanks for listening. Bye.